Just realized my mic was not on. I have no idea if it was catching anything. It's just been one of those weeks. Had a liquor cabinet fall on me, scratched my feet, hit my head. Had a student threaten to disenroll because she didn't get a trophy. Forgot to turn the mic on while I was recording half of this video. How's your date been going? Have you ever been out and about and needed an essential oil, but when you looked into your purse, it was like, oops, there's nothing there? Do you think that maybe me being an essential oil junkie, I would have essential oils on me at all times, but something happened. I needed an essential oil. I dug into my purse and realized I was not the essential oil junkie I thought I was. So today, I will be picking essential oils from my purse for life's little emergencies. So first, I'm gonna make a list of common issues that I come up against. Then I'm gonna go through the essential oils and pick which ones will hit most of the issues that I am dealing with. So that way I don't have to have a bunch of essential oils in my purse and keep it light. So first off, headaches, bug bites, anxiousness, sore muscles, lack of focus and concentration, hormone helpers, personal aroma, because have you ever had a time when you've been out and your deodorant decided it was just gonna stop working for the day? Or when I'm unexpectedly around cats in Poland. When I'm outside and I need to cool down just a little bit, immune boosting essential oils as well as cleaning oils are always really good to have on hand, especially these days. So now I'm gonna go through all of these issues again and then I'm gonna pick my favorite essential oils and then see if I can whittle them down to a manageable amount to fit inside my purse. So let's see what we've got. So first off, I mentioned head hurting while I am out, so I will definitely need frankincense, peppermint, and lavender for general head hurt off. Now I know I said bug bites, but you may be thinking, why? Am I a hiker or something? Do I love the outdoors? Not that I don't love the outdoors, but it is Texas and uh, usually you try to stay indoors as much as you can. But it's actually because I have this one particular student and yes, I am blaming a student because that's the adult thing to do. But I will be literally teaching all day long, not have a problem. This particular student walks in and all of a sudden all of the mosquitoes decide to descend upon both of us and eat us up alive. So we will be spending most of the lesson trying to shoot and scratch at the same time. So I need something for bug bites. So Terra Shield is a must and there's a spray and there's an oil. This is, I guess, a little bit more compact. It's really handy to have the spray. So I'm gonna take this out. Terra Shield is a mosquito repellent and that's exactly what I need. Lavender also helps with itching, so that's coming in. Anxiousness is no joke and I tend to be a pretty nervous driver. So I need something to keep me a little bit happy while I'm driving. I definitely need to have happy oils. So that's citrus oil, so I love of stuff like bergamot, erex is nice, balance, ooh, 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 ooh. can't forget lime, wild orange, tangerine, as well as adaptive. Okay, you know what? I think I need to stop with that one. I will come back to these anxious oils because as you can see, I can go crazy with them. So next is sore muscles. I like deep blue, deep blue rub, and deep blue stick. I'm actually voting for the deep blue stick because I don't have to rub it off and on. I don't have to worry about washing my hands afterwards so these are gonna go out but on the other hand uh, essential oil is a little easier on my purse so hmm. we'll go with the stick it isn't that heavy lack of focus in a concentration now you may be thinking really Christina but sometimes you know when you're teaching late in the day you just clock out you're not there and it's not fair to your students right or sometimes your students come and they've clocked out and they're not there. So I like to diffuse essential oils in my studio to help both of us have a productive lesson. Frankincense is a good choice. Peppermint is also good as well as wild orange. So yay, I have those oils already. Hmm. There's also into focus blend, which as a music teacher, how can I pass up having an oil blend in my purse called Intune? Like really, how can I do that? It's gotta go in. All right, Intune's in. Hormone helpers, because I have had instances when my head was throbbing due to hormone imbalances and frankincense, lavender, and peppermint just were not cutting it for me. So gotta have that clarity pump. As well as Yarrow Palm Beauty Complex because I actually use this as a reliever when that time of month comes in. So you know what? I've got this little thing here. Let me get it. See this fancy little thing? It's a pill box. So instead of having this, I can just put a couple of Yarrow Palm Beauty Complex inside here. So yes, here we go. For emergencies when I am in need of some relief during the day. So you know what? 
speaking of which, I usually have to take my supplements with food because I have difficulty swallowing the pills without that. So I sometimes, how I miss out on a dose of daily supplements because I didn't think to bring them with me. So this will be perfect to put my supplements in. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. This is brilliant. You know what? I had not thought about this. I'm going to put in some Terrazyme because this helps me uh, when I have some food that is off diet and it gives me a stomach ache. So in you go. Plus the lifelong vitality. See, this is huge. I wouldn't be able to pack this into my purse. So I'm gonna put some emergency doses into this little packet right here. And I take these on a daily basis to help me balance my hormones. This was not originally going to be in this video, but this is brilliant. I am glad I thought of this just now. So very nice. You may be asking how many supplements I take a day. I'm gonna plead the fifth on that one. And ta-da, handy dandy pill box. Personal aroma. You know what? Maybe I'm going to skip this one. As you can see, I've got a lot of oils already. Don't need it. So when cats are unexpectedly around, I already have lavender, so we're good with that. Oils for when it's hot outside. No, don't laugh. Like I said, I live in Texas. And sometimes the air conditioner in my car just decides it's not gonna work. Or the air conditioner in the school is just not gonna work. Or the air conditioner in the studio is just not gonna work. And then I'm kind of hot and sticky and smelling and my deodorant decides it just took a hike. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna actually go back to those personal aromas that I was going to leave out. I'll uh, whittle these down just a little bit later. All right, immune boosting and cleaning oil. Obviously, big deal these days. So I've got Abode On Guard Stronger. I know I already have a ton of oils and I need to whittle them down, so I probably should just pick one from here. But honestly, it's kind of boring to smell the same thing every single day. And the Pure Stronger blend is a limited time one, so once this falls out, I'm done. I can't use it anymore. I really like the smell of Abode. Ming scent is most, mostly like cassia, so it's kind of like a cinnamony smell. Really interesting. I love the citrus smell. And on guard is really good for immune boosting, but sometimes I kind of get tired of a scent because it's so common. Um, there's always Airex, which I did put in here before, which smells really awesome. And it is really different from the other three. And okay, you know what? Sometimes it's just boring to smell one scent, so I'll, I'll leave that here for now. And I'm just gonna sneak this one in because I really like the smell. It makes me happy. Don't judge. And then just kind of like as an aside i need some other stuff in my purse at all times not necessarily you know oil related but I, my hands do get dry so i like to have the citrus plus hand lotion on hand and then there's these hand wipes that have been cupping really handy for me recently plus hand sanitizer i mean who doesn't go around with hand sanitizer these days all right so i really think i need to stop there i think i've got everything covered pretty well. So let me see if I can pack this up and we'll be ready to go. So I actually have this nice little purse here that I'm going to try to fit the oils in here. And again, I have to whittle this down so that, um, you know, you see this, right? So here we go. And it's got even like these nice little compartments here you can see inside there. You know, it only fits five. I'm gonna need a bigger purse. All right, so I, I just wanna get maybe like a little bigger purse. And that's okay, because my, my purse is a little bit bigger because, you know, I, I put stuff in it. So um, I'm gonna try this one. It's got a little bit more space in here. So I'm gonna try putting the oils in here. There's still room. Oh, God. It hurts you. See? I can take those out. That's great. There you go. See? All in one purse. Well, do you know it did bad, right? Put that in here. And 